okay now the impedance again the you know that you to have a winding in the rotor and winding will have a reactance the reactance is going to be inductive so x2 will be 2 pi fr into l20 x2 will be equal to s into x2 not so everything will be multiplied by s okay so x2 will be s into x2 not what is x2 not 2 pi f into l20 not inductor you know the inductive reactance formula is omega l the inductive reactance formula i told you in the very beginning it is going to be given by omega into l okay it is omega into l and omega is 2 pi f so l is multiplied by s so x will also be multiplied by s so if it is standstill means l2 naught or x2 naught if it is rotating means s into x2 naught or s into l2 naught you can now i think you can able to relate what is the relation between the motor is running and not running so if it is running means you will have s coming into picture if it is not running means every parameter will have a suffix of zero now i can write the impedance per phase z2 equal to r2 plus j2 substitute for x2 it is s into x2 naught so i can write the magnitude as root of r2 square plus s x2 naught the whole square the angle is tan inverse imaginary part by real part. Imaginary part is S into X2 naught. The real part is R2. So I can find the impedance of the rotor. And we have one small observation you have to make. When the slip is very, very small, when S value is very, very small, I can ignore the second term. The impedance will be approximately equal to R2. The motor will act like a, the rotor impedance will be largely resistive. When the slip is very, very high, the second will dominate and the impedance will be largely inductive. So two cases when the impedance is resistive and inductive. So at small slip speed, that means when S is very, very small, Z2 will be approximately equal to R2. So I can say the impedance is going to be largely resistive. When the slip is going to be larger, resistance will not dominate. I can write Z2 is approximately equal to JS into X2 naught. So I can say the impedance is going to be inductively dominating. So these two conditions, please be clear. When it is resistive and when it is